In a previous video, I showed you how to get started with QGIS Atlas. So you can automate map production in QGIS. So let's take a look at that. One thing to be aware of is if you create an atlas in the print layout in QGIS and then close your project down and then reopen it, it might look a bit weird. That's because in this case, I've got the name of the country coming from the name column, but at the moment we just say the expression. So when you open up a project that's got an atlas in it, you need to click on the preview atlas tool to reactivate it. In this case, I have also added in from Natural Earth some places. So I've added in populated places and I've filtered this layer using a population variable. So I'm just showing places that according to this data set have more than 250,000 people. And let's go back to the Atlas in the print layout. I'll hit refresh, but that's not very good because I only really want places that are in the currently active Atlas feature, in this case, Norway, to be labeled. Otherwise, there's just too much mess. So how can we do that? Well, we go back to the main map canvas and I'll double click on the populated places layer to bring up the properties. In here, I need to go to symbology and I need to apply a rule. To do that, instead of single symbol, we're going to choose rule based. So we're going to use a rule to decide which places get displayed. From here, we can just double click where it says no filter. And the filter we're going to use is something we can type into this box, but it's always easier, I think, to click the little expression button and type it in here. So we're going to use an expression called intersects. And we'll do an open bracket and this is a little test about whether any of the cities intersect the current atlas feature so we need to type in dollar sign geometry and then we'll put in a comma and then an at symbol and it's going to be atlas geometry but let's type in atlas here and we can see this one so it's atlas geometry so let me just go like that so that's the expression. It's just a little logical test to see whether our current place intersects the Atlas geometry. If it does, a place will display. If it doesn't, it won't display. So let's click OK, OK and OK. And now we see only Oslo appear. If I go to the print layout, well, it doesn't seem to have worked, but we just need to hit refresh. And now we only get places that intersect the current Atlas feature displayed. Oslo, and then we've got Swedish ones. Now the specific filter can be changed. I've got 250,000 or more. And in this case, we might want to use 500,000, but you see the way it works. Only those places that intersect the currently active Atlas feature have place names showing in them. In some cases, like in Botswana, it's not showing anywhere because maybe the population data is not too good, but let's change the filter to 150,000 or more. There we go. So the specific filter you use will depend on your data set. In the case of Chile, that's too low. Let's take Panama and we can flick through. Somewhere like the Philippines is going to be too many places, but that's how it works. The key thing here is let's do Indonesia and let's go and re filter that to choose places with more than 500,000. Okay, let's choose more than a million. And let's go back to the print layout one more time and hit refresh. There we go. So that's how you can do it. It's a simple expression and it allows you, if you want to show places, to only show those places that intersect the current Atlas feature. I'll double click this and go to the expression tool and leave the expression on screen. It's also in the description below. Hopefully you find that useful in your own work.